Friends, today let's solve tax justification problem. We are given an array of words and widths max widths. Format the text such that each line has exactly max widths characters and is fully justified. I think this problem is just uh, you translate these rules to the code. And let's first see the rules I figured out. First, it should be a greedy algorithm because we needed to put as many words as possible on each line. And for the spaces part, if it, if current line is the last line, the spaces between words should be distributed as evenly as possible. And uh, if it cannot be distributed uh, evenly, we should put extra space as left as possible. And if the current line is the last line or only one word in the line, there should be no extra space between words and the rest part of this line should be filled with spaces. So let's see this algorithm. Actually, it's quite simple. The first part is that we need to decide how many words could be put in the same line. And the second step, we need to modify the spaces between words. And we can divide this into two cases. One is if it's not the last line, and if it's the last line. And this is the variables we may need. The word index, because we need to keep a record of about the index in the words. Actually, the whole task is to put the word in the lines. Last, the last word index set in the same line. Actually, this is the first word index in the next line. Total charts, the total charts used in the line. And when we calculate the total charts, we should know that we should add one space when we add a new word, because there should at least be one space between words. And the gaps, the number of gaps between word index and the last. Uh, I def uh, define, def um, define this gap means the place between two words. So that means if we have two words, we have one gap. If we have three words, we have two gaps, so on and so forth. And SB, you know, this is the string builder when we generate uh, the new line. Let's see these two cases. One, if it's the last line or there is only one word in the line. This is word one and a space, word two and a space. And the rest part will uh, all be spaces. And the whole width should be just be the max width. And I think the hard part is the otherwise, if it's the middle lines. What should we do? Uh, you still remember the total charts, word one, and we put a space and add word two, and we add a space and add word three. So in this example, if word one have four charts, and the space have one char, and the word two have two chars, and the space have one char, and the word three have two char, and the max width is uh, 17. So now we know the max width 17 minus the total chars, which is 10, when we have seven. And we divide these gaps. That means the extra spaces we need to add it to the gap. That means for every gap, we need to add three more charts. So this should be four, and this should also be four. But you should notice that seven divided two, we still have reminder. So we module two and get one. That means we should put extra one space on the first gap. So this the diff difficulty is that for some gaps, we may need uh, one more space than others. And there should just uh, at most be one. Because once you have two, space, two spaces to add to this gap, that means it should have some problem. Um, if 
um, actually there can never be have two, two spaces. If we the rest is two, we should put a one space here and a one space here, so on and so forth. So only when the current gap index is less than the rest, we should uh, put one more space. The, the basic part is the spaces, and this is the extra part. OK, so the algorithm is quite uh, straightforward. Now let's write the code. The difficulty is just the implementation part. First, we need a string list, which is we need name, name it result. And we call it uh, array list. And we need an n, which is the number of the words. And we also need an index, which starts from 0. And the while loop it will be the index less than n. And now we need the total charts. As for every line, we at least can put one word. So the total charts begin at the beginning should be the words index dot length. And the last we initialized to index plus one. For example, if index is zero, so the last at first will be one. We start from the second word. And we try to put uh, as many words as possible. So when the last uh, less than n, um, and if the total charts plus 1, because there should at least uh, one space between two words, plus words last uh, dot length. If it's uh, greater than max width, we can not add this word, so we just break. Otherwise, we should uh, sum up these charts. That will add one first, which means a space. And we add the words dot length. And we let uh, that's increment by one. So when we are here, we know the gaps. The gaps should be the last minus index minus one. How to understand it? This, this example index is 0 and the last is 0, 1, 2, 3 is 3. So the gaps should be 3 minus 1 minus 1. So it should be 2, 2 gaps. OK. Uh, then we need a string builder to generate this line's string. New string builder. OK. We have two cases. One is if it's the last line or there is only one word. So when the last equal to n, which means it's the last line. Because the last actually is the first uh, word index in the given uh, on the next line. Or the gaps equal to, uh, sorry, gaps equal to 0. We just uh, put the words. So 4 into i equal to index i less than last i plus plus. SB will just append what's I and SB will append uh, this space. And in the end, we should uh, delete the last space because we first add this and uh, we add uh, one space and we add uh, is, we add uh, one space and we add uh, n, we add uh, one space. There should uh, not be a space in the, um, do we really need to? Actually, we do not need to delete it. OK, so while the while the SB dot length less than the max width, maybe we should uh, delete it. Because once, if it's just, uh, you know, just one word, the length is just a uh, max width, we should uh, Remove the last, uh, the last space. So SB will remove, uh, will delete. Char at SB dot length minus one. And uh, if the string builder dot length is less than max width, we should uh, just append the extra space to fill it. So 
That's it. This is the simple part. If it's not the last line, we should uh, think about uh, distributing the spaces. So what's the spaces? It should uh, be the max width minus the total charts. And we divide uh, the gaps. And uh, also the rest, which should be max width minus total charts and module the gaps. Then for enter are equal to index. And let's say last uh, minus one because uh, there should uh, never be extra space uh, in the end. So I plus plus. So in the end, we do not forget to append the last word. There should be words last minus one. Okay, for this part, we append uh, these words I and then we append uh, the space and for the extra spaces start from zero a j less than spaces plus you should notice that th this total mm, this total charts already plus this one this is the extra uh, this is the space between two words at least be one right we already add it so this is the extra space actually but if this rest if this i minus index is less than the rest, we should add one more space. Otherwise, do not add one more. And J plus plus. So SB will just append this empty, uh, this space. Okay, then we add it. Here we should result add SB two string. And uh, currently, we update the index to the last because this is the first uh, index of the next uh, line. So, final return result. Okay. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.